Yo, what's up, YouTube? I was looking at Obama and Michelle's relationship, okay? Um, you know, one of the kids at school had an Obama and Michelle. He had, he had a screen tee on with the whole family, okay? And, you know, I was looking at the shirt, you know, and I was like, that's unique. Because I've only really seen the whole, you know, shirts with Obama's face on it, but not really his whole family. So I thought that was cool. But I was thinking that, you know, Obama has done a great thing for black men. Because to me, his relationship shatters this whole concept that uh, a, a black man have an issue with black women or black beauty or even black men better yet black men who are successful and especially highly successful okay fail you know negate black women and now they go after excuse me and chase only white or non-black women his story completely negates it why do I say that if you just look at Obama's profile doesn't he fit the profile of a black dude that dates anything except the black woman. Think about it. Think about how he grew up. Okay, first of all, think about his schooling. All this dude was around was white women. Forget Asian, forget Hispanic. All he was was a around white women. And they were probably, you know, giving it up to him. And not to say that he was taking it, but, you know, they was probably on him tough. Okay, considering that he was probably the only black man uh, walking into a lot of rooms. And he was smart, articulate, kicking ass. White women were probably all over him. Also, factor in his features. Okay, you know, p people tend to desire features that they have. So if you have Eurocentric features, you're probably going to like someone else who has Eurocentric features and no one really has an issue with that if you really think about it. Hence the whole idea of light-skinned black men being able to go after <clears throat> and date light-skinned women and no one really says anything because their features match up. Right? People only really notice when you know darker black men go after anything other than a darker skinned black woman because there's a discrepancy in the features. Okay. His features are more African, right? You know, the darker skin, you know, the nose, the cheekbones, and hers are not. But if you look at Obama, his features are, you know, I would say more Eurocentric than African, even look at his skin color. Okay, so even if Obama did date a black woman. You know, according to popular belief in the black community, she should have been light skinned, right? If anything, she probably should have been mixed. So she should have looked like Vanessa Williams or somebody. But yet, he is with a darker skinned woman who, in my opinion, her features are more on the black side than they are the Eurocentric side. So if you just look at who he's with, to me, it completely shatters this whole idea of what black men like. Oh, I forgot to factor in the fact that she's educated. Okay, highly educated. And the fact that she has her own money. Okay, how come he didn't go off and marry the secretary or some lesser degree woman who was light-skinned and who was cute? Why did he choose to date, or excuse me, marry a black woman who, quite frankly... Right. You know, without Obama being president, probably. And I don't know their story too much, but was was probably or probably had the opportunity to be making more money than him. Or equal. Why would he do that? If black men, you know, we have all these problems. Why would he do that? Oh, I forgot to add his father wasn't there as well. OK, you know, oftentimes people want to come on and say, Oh, uh, you know, because black men, you know, don't have their fathers, um, you know, they don't know enough about themselves. They don't, you know, know this about, you know, their blackness and their loss, this, that, and the third. So what I'm trying to get at for everybody so people can, you know, really understand is I'm saying Obama has every excuse, has every 
bit and piece of evidence that would support his whole claim of him dating anything other than who he's married to now. Okay, I should be able to put up a list or, uh, you know, uh, pictures and profiles of a hundred women from across the globe. And Michelle Obama should be close to last in terms of who he was supposed to pick. If you factor in how he looks in terms of his features, if you factor in how he grew up, factor in where he went to school, what he did for a living, what people commonly say about black men with money. Or black men who are professional, not just money, because you can be a drug dealer and have money. But black men who are highly educated. He breaks all of that. Okay, and to me, I like it. Because it, it, to me, it gives me a platform. When I talk about how black women are focusing way too much on beauty. And not more so on other things that they can actually change. You know, it's the perfect platform, I think, for not just me, but black men in general to go off of when we have these arguments. Because for a while now, you know, I've been trying to say that the women are paying way too much attention to beauty. And to be real with you, they should be thanking God that it's not really that much about beauty because you can't change it, okay? You know, it's one thing to uh, have money that, you know... You don't really to scrape up money to get a weave, but it's another thing to scrape up money to get a nose job or, you know, to get something done to change how you look physically. That most people can't do because you're talking about cosmetic surgery. I don't think anybody's insurance plan is going to cover, you know, a new nose job. Yet the women focus on something that they really don't have the, the, the tools to change. Whereas the men are saying, look, what you need to change, you can do. Okay, and you know, like I said, you know, for the men out there who are concerned and for the women who want to hold on to this whole idea of physical appearance, look at Obama. Right, if everything about black men, you know, that has been said in terms of what we like and what we desire, if that is true, why the hell is our president married to who he's married to? Why do they have kids? You tell me. Take it easy. God bless.